Hey everybody, today is Saturday, September 9th, and we have an update for you. And one of these kind of updates, you know, we just got to go for a little bit of a walk. So, welcome to the summit. We're going to be doing a little bit of a walk along our ridge, and a little bit along our driveway, a little bit along our road to our place. We'll walk past the pavilion. We'll walk past some of our trails on our land that we mountain bike on or walk on, hike on. We'll walk past our cliff that we have on our land. That's fun to visit. It has a little alcove in it. You can kind of climb up in. Days gone by, it's a fun little spot that you can build a little fire in, up in this little alcove. But anyways, so the reason why we're doing this update is to give you our latest on what's happening here at the summit. We've got Breezy, she's in the pink collar, and we've got Willow, she's in the tan collar, and we got them out for a walk. We're really gonna pick on them today because they gotta stay on a leash. We've tried these videos with the dogs off leash and pretty much you never see them. Except for the momentary blur across the trail as they wander back and forth and back and forth through the woods, following their nose, seeing what's of interest to them. So these guys are feeling a little bit picked on about having to stay on leash for today's adventure walk. Um, kind of still, kind of still have to pinch myself that we can go for a walk on our land, literally go for an hour straight, pretty much never retrace our steps and never leave our land there's always something different to see. We've got three springs that funnel together and make a little creek across the center valley of our land that creates basically a horseshoe shaped property with the ridges along the horseshoe and the creek going out the bottom opening of it. But we're at the very top of the topography in this area pretty high in elevation from the top of our land to the bottom. Elevation wise we have about 300 feet of elevation change so don't mind me as I huff and puff during this walk. Some of this is uphill and some of it's downhill. So we've got our news to share that Willow's pregnancy just did not take. Um, so, in the past, Willow has surprised us with a small litter. She hid it very well. We could not tell that she was pregnant. Um, she has a long, tall body. And, you know, basically I'm not female, but, you know, if you ask any female, some people just carry their babies different than others. And can hide it better. Some people's bodies um, show it more and show it faster and all that kind of stuff. Willow hides them. She can hide them in there and we don't think she's pregnant and lo and behold she'll surprise us. So her due date was September 7th a couple days ago. We thought we'd give her the benefit of the doubt and wait a little longer and see if anything was coming. And from all indications, the pregnancy did not take. We kind of felt that early on. She just wasn't showing, but we thought maybe, maybe it's just one puppy in there this time. Who knows? So we've kind of held off on doing this update and wanted to Give her the benefit of the doubt and see if anything came out, but 
there's just nothing there. We have Breezy, who was bred a month after Willow, and she's already starting to show. Sorry that I'm huffing and puffing. I'm doing some of this narration as I walk, and then I'll basically dub over the uh, video as we go. Um, anyways, so Breezy, if you can tell, she's got the little belly bump started. She's a month out, and basically you can already start to see that the development, the pregnancy development, the womb, the all that happens with the pregnancy is starting to grow inside of her. Whereas with Willow, that has been hard to discern with small litters of her in the past, and this time it's just easy to discern that that just did not happen. She, it just didn't grow. We were hoping against hope that we'd have a couple in there somehow, some way, somewhere that she hid, but they're just not there. As you can see, Willow's really healthy, very spry, energetic, ready to tackle this world and enjoy all of her adventures. Um, so we're not concerned about Willow's health at all. It's just one of those Mother Nature moments that things just didn't pan out with her pregnancy. So that happens every once in a while. Obviously, we're disappointed. I'm sure some of the families are going to be disappointed. The timing was going to be good for them to get a pup from Willow, and that changes things now. You know, they were hoping for a pup a couple months from now, and now our new time frames are about a month later than we originally planned because Breezy is about a month behind. So that's what we're anticipating. Next is we'll just monitor the progress of Breezy's litter and her pregnancy and her development. And we're happy to report back on that with the families. Obviously, um, we're, we're disappointed. We don't wanna uh, disappoint any families, but we know that timing is of the essence with several families. And, if they need to pursue other options with another breeder with timing that suits better for them, we understand that. We're kind of not in the business of punishing people. We don't charge a large deposit. Um, you know, if somebody's situation changes and they can't get a pup from us, then we're not going to punish them by withholding a deposit, a large deposit. And so, same goes true for one of these types of scenarios that we don't want to feel like we're punishing a family because Mother Nature threw us a curveball and they need to move on to another family. And so we'll work with families on postponing their deposit to the next litter. We'll work with families on if they need to just move on with another breeder. We're not going to withhold their deposit. I just don't, that just doesn't feel right to me. So. We hope everybody understands and is patient with us. And we need to understand and be patient with them if, if they just need to move on and do other things in life. With another breeder for puppy, you know. Bottom line is we want the right thing to happen with each family with the right puppy. And we know that timing plays a big part of how well a family can incorporate a puppy into their family. If they don't have the time, they shouldn't be getting a puppy. And if they do have the time, but we can't provide the puppy, then maybe they need to explore other options. We have to respect that. We wanna do right by the families and do right by the puppy, do right by the breed. We don't need bad situations to unfold and have puppies end up in shelters because of timing issues and circumstances you know there's enough of that that already plays out as life throws a curveball to 
everybody even after they get a puppy. We hope that doesn't happen, but we don't need to add to that. So we try to do right as a breeder, do things like we feel like is right. And we're not gonna punish anybody as, um, as a result of things that are a little bit out of our control. So anyways, we hope you enjoy this little walk with these two. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, about 70 degrees, but very humid. So it feels warmer, but it could be a lot warmer. It's a beautiful fall afternoon. The leaves are starting to change. The few leaves are starting to come down with a little bit of heat stress. It was quite hot the last couple of weeks. And the fall is in the air here at the summit. Now we're down at kind of the middle of our land. There's a large bench area across the middle of our land with a long flat trail. This is kind of what we've called a preserve area of, I, I call it the preserve. It's just kind of over here. Our house is way back there, a quarter of a mile. And this is kind of the far side of our land across the valley from the creek on our land. So we feel blessed to have in our life. So, you know, the next part of the conversation is, you know, life just throws you curveballs sometimes. You know, I don't think it's one of those things where when life, when a curveball kind of comes your way, I hope people don't feel like they're being punished in any way. I think it's one of those scenarios that, you know, as, as life transpires, we have a tree that came down across our trail in one of the bad storms. This is a dead standing tree, widow maker, some people would say. Come around, Breezy. It's a little easier over there. Good girl. Oh, now I got you to hang up. So it's just one of those scenarios that, you know, we we live in a fallen world and as a result, there's just gonna be challenges that come our way. But our creator is there for us. He'll help us in any challenges that we have. You know, I'm not necessarily talking about um, just dog pregnancy here. I'm just talking about life in general. I hope you feel that um, as I share that message with you. You know, he's given us so much and his giving is endless when we look towards him and all that we do. So we hope you enjoy the rest of this little video with our little walk. I'm just about to the end of our land. This is the far stretch of it so the rest of this video is going to be kind of backtracking where we just came from and no new scenery but this is our the very end of our very end so we can we can pretty much walk for an hour if if i were to keep going down the ravine and up the other side and then head back to our house it would kind of complete the loop and it's just a beautiful place for us. So we kind of love to share it. We know that most people that are getting a pup from us, this is exactly what they have in mind when they get their dog, is they're ready for an adventure companion to join them with their family out in life and at home and get out and see the big world that we live in and the beauty that surrounds us and enjoy the creations that we have and be able to kind of reconnect and I should say reconnect with nature and disconnect from some of the stresses of our life and you know having a dog sometimes gives us that uh, 
I, I would say obligation. Having a dog sometimes gives us an obligation to get out and do things when maybe otherwise we wouldn't normally do that. But we feel that obligation to get out, give the dogs a break from inside the house, just get them out and going and seeing the world around us and let them get out and get their feet dirty, get their nose in the grasses and uh, feel a part of the wild that that they are so anyways hope you enjoy this video and we'll keep up to date as breezy's pregnancy transpires and we share the progress of that news with you so until next time thanks for watching